Ciao la, come siete? That was Italian, you know, just to inject a little bit of culture into your day. So that's your culture tidbit and you can use that with your friends and they will be like, wow, that person is very cultured. I have a riddle for you. Formed long ago, yet made today, and most employed when others sleep, what few would like to give away, and fewer still to keep. What? <laughs> so, five awesome kiwis up and running. It's very, very exciting. Patrick, I loved your video on Monday. I'm still amazed how you could be like three places at once. That was so cool. I've never tried to make one of those videos because I don't. I just don't think I could do it. Levi. Levi, your video yesterday was very entertaining, and I'm my respect for you has gone up by about seventy five percent because you like Star Wars. Now it's the afternoon. Wow! I just like skipped forward in time with my mind. That's amazing. Okay. No. No, I didn't. I'm not psychic or anything. It, it's the afternoon and I just got home from school. Had a, quite an odd day. We had these um, comedians come into school at lunchtime. And um, this one guy kept talking about how Americans are so stupid. It's not very nice. It's a bad stereotype. Well, they can't be stupid. I mean, isn't Stephen Hawking American? That guy is crazy. Crazy smart. It's amazing. But I do have a story about one stupid American. That um, when we were in the States, so my dad has this t shirt with like a picture of New Zealand on the front. And some car is tooting. Shh, shh. Okay. Um, so my dad has a t shirt with a picture of New Zealand down the front. And um, some guy was like, Oh, what's that place on your t-shirt? And Dad's like, New Zealand. And he's like, is that part of the States? Seriously? How completely ignorant can you be? It's really weird. And... Okay. Yes? Okay. Um, it's really weird because the other day in maths we were waiting to be taught, you know, excited about learning and because, you know, we're just such eager students. Shut up. And um, um, my two friends and I were sitting there like, because, you know, you need a little bit of song and dance to brighten up your maths lesson and um so we were doing that and then the maths teacher comes over we'll go, mm, bop, bop, mm, and he goes <laughs> and honestly it was one of the most scariest moments of my life it was so terrifying okay well i better go now because um you don't want to watch a video that's like seven minutes long full of rambling well, actually, it must kind of be what you guys like because, you know, you did subscribe to a video channel that has me and Juno on it. And we're both ramblers. We ramble a lot. You know, if that's what you like. Okay. See you next Wednesday.